All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka Kodash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. All right, this lesson, I want to speak about the chariots of the Lord, man. All right, I want to read first precept in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Okay, so this is talking about our Lord's return. Okay, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name being Yahweh Shai. All right, being a so-called black man according to the scriptures. All right, this is speaking about his return. Okay, it says, behold, he cometh with clouds. And those clouds represent the so-called UFOs. All right, because the Lord is coming back with an army of angels. Okay, they're also known in the scriptures as chariots. Okay, the chariots of the Lord. That's what the, the so-called UFOs are known as in the scriptures. But there's different terms that is being used, man, such as clouds. Okay, you got a, a, a flying roll, you know. You know, the, the scriptures, uh, you know, speak about a, a, a pillar, you know, a, a pillar. You know, so there's different terms that is used for the, to describe the so-called UFOs, man. Okay, so when the Lord returns, everyone is going to see it. Okay, it's not going to be some debate, oh, are UFOs real? Oh, you know, what is that in the sky? Is that, you know, is that fake? You know, no, it's going to be seen exactly as it is, man. So it says, and they also which pierced him. Okay, so who pierced our Lord? Okay, that was those uh, that put him on the cross 2,000 years ago. Okay. So they're going to be back in the last days through reincarnation to see the Lord's coming. Okay, and they're going to get punished, man. There's going to be vengeance taken when the Lord returns. So it says, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so are man. So it's not going to be some uh, uh, joyful time for the whole world when the Lord returns, because there's going to be mourning, all right? There's going to be a lot of judgment. There's going to be a lot of destruction. The Lord is coming back for vengeance, okay? But this is prophecy, man. This is what has to happen, all right? The Lord ain't coming back just to, to give everybody high fives, man. No, the Lord is coming back for vengeance. All right, this is Isaiah 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord is coming back angry. Okay, the Lord is coming back for judgment. All right, because this whole earth under the rulership of the wicked all right, which are the Edomites, the so-called white man, all right, and these heathen nations, you know, also, you know, being together, oppressing the Lord's people, all right, and, and corrupting uh, this earth, man, okay, with the pollution, you know, with the doctrines and the false philosophies and all these different things, the Lord is coming back to correct, man, okay, and he's coming back with an army, so the Lord is going to show power, all right, it's going to be from all, all angles, it's going to be a complete invasion, Okay, especially into America, which is Babylon. All right, the Lord is going to completely judge that wicked land. All right, and all the people in it. Okay, and it says what? With fire. Okay, because the Lord is going to be shooting fire from those chariots. Those angels, they're going to be doing a job. All right, they're going to be, uh, um, you know, judging uh, these heathens and their armies, the heathen nations. All right, the, those that are being wicked. Okay, they're coming back with anger. It's going to be a war, all right? You know, in the midst of World War Three, these angels, they're going to be bringing judgments also, man. Especially with those chariots, okay? Now it says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Okay, so the Lord's coming back with that sword, which is destruction. These cities that you see that everybody loves so much with all these landmarks, these buildings, skyscrapers, all right, all these monuments, they're all going to be getting zapped. They're going to be getting destroyed, thrown down. And these heathens, they're going to be judged. That's what it means when, when it says the Lord will plead with all flesh. It's not going to be negotiations. It's just going to be judgment. The Lord is coming with force. All right, because th this judgment is, is, is uh, due. The scriptures tell you about the sins reaching up unto heaven, man. So especially America. All right, America's wickedness and all the oppression and evils that is done, you know, that's that whole uh, history. 
you know, the Lord is coming back to avenge that. All right. And it says, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the Lord is going to get the victory, man. Okay. A lot of people, they're going to be put down when the Lord comes. And the Lord is going to come to show power, man. And he's coming to establish his kingdom. All right. When the Lord returns, he's establishing the kingdom of heaven on the earth for the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the oppressed people of the earth. All right? The ones under the curses. All right? The ones who need salvation and redemption. But the Lord is coming back to go to war with his enemies, man, and these heathen nations. They have to be put down. They have to be judged first before our rulership can come. Okay? Because the scriptures tell you we're going to be joint heirs with the Lord, man, ruling underneath. The, the power and authority of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, we're going to be set up as a, a nation of kings and priests. Okay, and having these heathen nations underneath our rule, man, they're going to be building up our walls. They're going to be our servants. All right, and that's going to come after the Lord goes to war with these heathen nations and their armies. Okay, this is Revelation 19 and verse 11. It says, And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. All right, so heaven meaning the, the upper firmament, the because the Lord is coming back and he's returning to this earth from the high heavens. All right, so the Lord is going to come down to the earth with an army of angels, man, and with chariots. Okay, that's why it says, and behold, a white horse, because that's representing pure power. Okay, and the Lord is going to come back on the biggest chariot, the biggest so-called UFO, the father ship. All right. And that's all going to be seen. Nobody's going to miss it. It's going to be a world-changing event when the Lord returns to the earth. All right? And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Okay? And that's our Lord and Savior. Those are, are titles because those are attributes of our Lord. All right? He's given us the signs of the end. All right? And the things that we're seeing happening in the earth today. The Lord told us of these things. So the word is coming to pass. The word is faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. So that's what the Lord's coming to do. In righteousness, to judge and make war. So who's going to be going to war when the Lord returns? It's going to be these heathen nations. That's the, the and ultimately their destruction is going to be the result of World War Three, with these nuclear missiles being used. And also the Lord showing uh, and coming and destroying them with the lasers, the, the, the concentrated fires, the, ch the chariots, all right, destroying these heathens. And also to deliver the elect, okay, because the ones that are going to be delivered from the nuclear destruction and all the fiery judgment is going to be the elect of the Lord's people, the ones that are going to be delivered. All right, so the Lord is coming back to make war, man. All right, and these heathen nations, they're not going to be ready. All right, they're going to think, oh, yeah, we're going to put up a fight. But really, they've already lost. OK, because the Lord is coming back with spiritual power. All right, He's coming back as an unstoppable force. All right. So it says his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. OK, because the Lord is going to take all the rulerships. All right. All these kings of these earth uh, right now, all these uh, nations and their leaders and their people that are in power. They're going to lose their positions. They're going to be brought back down. Okay, the Lord is going to take over. All right, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself because the Lord's going to be like reintroduced. That name is going to be republished, you know, and known. Okay, which that's starting with the prophets, the men of the Lord preaching in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, because we know the name. All right, we know the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, which we need for salvation. All right, and through those names, you know, that's how we're going to conquer our enemies. All right. And these heathen nations, they're going to get to know. All right. The whole world's going to know perfectly. All right. Who it is that's bringing this judgment. Who it is that's taking over and establishing righteousness on the earth. They're going to know. All right. Look, it says, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of God. All right. Another title for our, for our Lord. Okay. And look, verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven, followed him upon white horses. So what armies are those? All right, that's talking about the holy angels. Okay, the Lord is going to come with force, man, and a power. And power. All right, the holy angels in the chariots, they're going to be following the Lord, man. 
all right, with pure power, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. All right, so the Lord's coming back for great judgment, man. All right, he's coming for, for war. The scriptures tell you that the Lord is a man of war. All right, and he's coming with armies of angels, okay, also that are, are coming for war. So these nations, they're going to get that rude awakening. They're going to be surprised when the Lord returns to the earth because one, they're not expecting the Lord to return. You know, they, they you know, they got scoff, they're scoffing, right, and, and they mock the words of the Lord. And if and if the Lord and when the Lord comes, they're gonna see him as he is, being a so-called black man. Alright, from the tribe of Judah, man, an Israelite. So this is the time that's gonna come and that's gonna shock the world. Right? It says, and he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, man. Alright, the real King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Alright, under the Heavenly Father. So this is what's coming. This is what is waiting for this this world, man. All right, this is prophecy, which prophecy means to say before. And the Lord's coming, all right, his second coming is prophesied, man. There's no getting around it. The Lord is going to return to the earth and establish righteousness. All right? And it's going to be forevermore. All right, I'm going to end it here. I want to say all praises be to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the great milestone, I taught us this truth. All right, and I'm going to end it here and say Shalom to the elect.